Hello and welcome back to my channel and today I will show you how you can instantiate a different kind of uh, prefabs by selecting uh, them from a panel. So here if I click number one, I can instantiate a simple cube. And if I click number two here, I can instantiate a sapphire. Yeah, let's get to it. So the first thing that we'll need to do is to set up the canvas. So let's create a UI canvas. And here I'll just keep it as overlay. Let's create an image. And this one will be our, uh, uh, our panel. If you double click it, it will automatically uh, zoom and uh, go to it. Let's just for this purpose, scale it to this size, move it down here. On this image, we can this we can call the panel. Right click, let's create a UI TextMess Pro button. If it's the first time you're using TextMess Pro, it will ask you to install it. Uh, just hit OK, and it will take um, a minute or two. Now let's size this to something like forty point forty. Move to the left, and this one will be button one. Let's duplicate this one, move it to the right. And here, this can be uh, button two. Yeah, that's what we need for the UI. Now let's create a 3D cube. And it already got everything it needs. It has a mesh render, it has a box collider. And let's create a 3D sapphire. And then drag them down here in the, in the project folder and it will automatically create a prefab same with the cube now delete these two in the scene no need for that we already have them down here and now we need to make the script let's create a c-sharp script and call this uh, let's just call it control and of course, we need a ground as well. Let's create a 3D plane. And this plane we can call ground. Let's scale it up by 10, 10, 10. Like that. And oh, I have 2D on, so you can see it here. Um, on that ground object, let's move the controller to that. And then double click here to open it up in Visual Studio. So first we will need to get a reference to the different uh, prefabs that we will instantiate on the buttons. And we can do that with an array. So public game object array. These two means that it will be an array. I will show you in a second. And here we will have prefabs. Sorry, not free wrap, but prefabs. And from the get go, it will be null. That's nothing. And then we need a reference to our camera. Camera. And we'll just call it cam. And it's null from this get go as well. And then we need to find a target. So um, let's make a game object and call it target. The target will be the prefab that we will instantiate in the game. So what should we do now? Let's first take and make the prefab. Yeah, let's make the buttons work. To make the buttons work, we will make a public void called um, object one. We will make a public void for object 2. And here we can say that our target is equal to our prefab number 0. And you can copy this, move it down here. And this will be number 1. Let's save this 
and go back to Unity here, and then I will show you what I mean with this 0 and 1. Let it compile. Here you can see now on the controller we have the, our prefabs. We have size. If we lock the screen here, we can take the cube and the sapphire, drag it to the prefab folder. And here you can see now we have two. So when we say we need to instantiate prefab number zero, it's in the prefab here and element zero. So in that function, we will instantiate the cube and in number one, we'll instantiate the sapphire. Yeah. So now let's create the function so we can instantiate in the world. Let's make a public void called instantiate ob object. And here we'll need to say if, oh, sorry for that. If input dot get mouse button down. And here we will say zero. Zero is the left mouse button. If you use number one, it will be right mouse button. So if that is first, we will need to say ray, and we will call it ray is equal to our cam dot screen to. Sorry, I can't spell this screen to. What? Ah, sorry. What I can screen to ah sorry I forgot that like this screen to point to ray input dot our mouse position so the ray will be from our camera and where our mo our mouse is positioned and then on the click our ray cast hit we will call that hit. And then we'll need to say if, sorry, sorry for that, if physics dot ray cast, and here we need to cast for our ray, and the output is hit. So if we, uh, we cast it and we hit something, then we will instantiate what will we instantiate our target where will we instantiate it at our hit dot point and quotonian dot identity that will control the, the rotation of it so that's actually it one other thing we need to do i will show you that, that in a moment is because we are using this canvas. So right now on the script, you should have your, your camera, drag that on. The target would be the one you are clicking on. But if we hit play now and take the console here, it will probably give a mistake. Oh no. Ah, sorry, we need to set up the buttons first, of course. <laughs> what a silly mistake. Um, hit the plus here. If you would take both of them and hit the plus, you can do it in both. Take your ground, move down. Uh, yeah, here you need to select one button. Take the control, take object one. On button two, we will need to take object two. And remember to move your your ground so you have it in the middle of the scene. I could see mine was uh, moved a bit. So if we hit play now, and we hit the one, and we hit two, you can see the target here will switch. And if you hit somewhere, you can see nothing happens. And that is simply because so a mistake of course it, we need to call it as well in the in the script 
So here we need to say instantiate object. Need to call it an update. Sometimes you you forget the the most common things. Now let's hit the play. Hit one. We got the cube. Hit two. We got the sapphire. And something I will want to show you here because I actually think if we take and look here on the ground like this here you can see all of it so if I hit number one now you can see here it instantiates someone so if I press two probably there will be someone over here yeah you can see some something instantiate when I press this one so to avoid that we need to add a little bit of code. So if you open up the script again, and here, before you instantiate it, you need to say if event system, event system, and we need to implement it first. So if you right click, quick action, and we need to, yeah. Uh, the event system here it will uh, if you do this it will uh, automatically add this line up here you can simply just write it if it the right click doesn't work for you and in the event session we will say if current is pointer over game object and we need to encapsulate like this and we need to close it as well like that and we need a animation mark here so it if it isn't over a game object so if you don't have your mouse over a object and that means you are on the ui then it should not do anything so if you hit play now we press number one you can see it doesn't do anything so if you press now hit here it will add Number two, it will add the sapphire. And if you press here, nothing happens because now it can see we are not on a game object. We are over the UI. Yeah, that was uh, what I had to show you in uh, this tutorial. Thanks a lot for watching. And uh, remember, if you want to see more videos from me, please hit the like and subscribe button below. Thank you and uh, see you next time.